firefighting is a really difficult and dangerous job, and about a quarter of all fatalities are related to aviation. We've seen now with the changing climate and the actual way we've been managing these lands over the past 50 or 100 years, where we've just been putting out fires all the time. Now there's increasing awareness that you really need to have prescribed burns that are low intensity, regular fires that burn up all of the debris on the forest floor. And so there's a real need for new technologies to be able to do these ignitions at a much you know, faster, safer, reliable rate. Our Ignis system uses these aerial ignition balls and these are actually used by helicopters on manned aerial ignition. With this technology, you know, you can really do things that you just can't do now, either because of safety or cost associated with having a you know, full-size helicopter come in. So often when you have a wildfire coming, part of the problem is that it's just killing all the trees in the forest. And what our system can do is they often are actually using it to set these low intensity fires in really hard to reach places. As part of a firefighting strategy, having the ability to precisely set controlled fires by drone technology, the firefighters themselves are removed from harm's way while controlled burns are effectively set. It's a win on multiple fronts. With the support of New Tech Ventures in the University of Nebraska, we are transforming the way firefighters, tools they have. Our innovation comes in taking the systems that are you know, 100 pounds or more and flying helicopters and not only shrinking it down to a system that could fly on a small drone, but to actually add a lot of the autonomy and intelligence and safety systems to provide the firefighters with the tools that you know, are robust and reliable, just like the shovels they carry. Now we're able to more safely, at a lower cost and much higher availability, do these aerial ignition type tasks that otherwise you know, firefighters just cannot perform. We can't overemphasize the importance of identifying a real-world problem and then solving it with technology. 